Hey guys, it's Drag Me Kids, so and welcome back. So I'm bringing a pretty requested video for y'all today. Now personally, I didn't actually think I was going to make this particular video. I was kind of hesitant about it because um, a lot of the products I'm going to be talking about in this video are either limited edition or they're discontinued and things like that. But I figured, you know, since it's something that people have been really wanting to, you know, find out about and it's also something that I'm very passionate about as well when it comes to a certain color of makeup I like to wear, I figured, you know what, why the hell not? I might as well just go ahead and do this video. Now what I'm going to be talking about in this video is my absolute favorite, favorite red eye products. Or just basically anything I like to use for my red base looks. Now if you've been following me for any length of time, you would know that doing red eye looks is my absolute favorite in the entire world. Um, I mean, I love all colors of the rainbow when it comes to makeup products, but I just... I don't know what it is about red eye looks. I just love red so much, and for me... Personally, I think it's a super underrated color. You know, people are so afraid to put red eyeshadow around their eyes or, or do any red looks in general because they're afraid they're going to look sickly or just things of that nature. Now, I personally really love the irritated eye look. Um, you know, I love my eyes to look bloody. I like my eyes to look zombie-ish and irritated and gross. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is about it. I just... It's very aesthetically pleasing to me. I, I love those kinds of looks. Now I am going to divide this into three different sections. I'm going to have um, eyeshadows, liners, and then non-eye based products that I like to put on my eyes. Now for this video I will be swatching things as I talk about them so you can see how they look and whatnot. Now for the first few products that I'm going to be talking about, they're going to be from Sugar Pill. To be honest, this was actually the very first red eyeshadow I ever purchased and it has been my staple in my makeup collection for the past maybe five to six years. I think it's going to be about six years. But the first one I'm talking about is Love Plus. I absolutely love this red. Now it's a very interesting red because it's not super warm and it's not super cool tone either. Especially if you want to do very irritated eye looks. Um, Whenever you blend it out, it has a sort of pinky hue to it, so it's really perfect for those kinds of eye looks. And the amazing thing about Sugar Pill too is that they're not super expensive. I mean, I personally don't think they are. And um, you get a lot of product for your money. You know, actually, let me show you all real quick. Because this one right here is the Pro Palette. This is the one that um, Sugar Pill themselves sent to me. But this one right here, this was the very first eyeshadow palette I ever bought from them. It's pretty old and busted, but... Um, I've been using this, you know, before I got that palette, I have been using this particular Love Plus for the past five to six years, and I mean, I, there's a huge dent in it, obviously, but it's still there. There's still tons of product left in it. Um, that goes to show that, yeah, it may be a little bit pricier, you know, it's $12, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but it's going to last you for a very long time, and I can assure you, I used that eyeshadow a lot because... Girl, I like to wear my reds. <laughs> the next red eyeshadow that came from Sugar Pill, that's one of my absolute favorites. And I honestly don't know if they even make this anymore. They used to bring it out during, um, I think Halloween was the only time you can get this eyeshadow. It's this eyeshadow right here. It's a really beautiful, vibrant red. And it has beautiful silver sparkles all throughout it too. Personally, I like to use it whenever I do my, you know, if I was going to do a very glamorous vampire look. But the name of this eyeshadow, it's a weird one. It's got symbols for the name. If I can zoom in. Yeah, that's the name of it right there. Um, but I haven't actually seen them come out with this eyeshadow recently, so I don't know if they discontinued it altogether. I kind of hope not, but this is also another one that I've had for many years. Now, I haven't worn it recently. I think it's been about a couple of years since I've actually worn this, but uh, before that I would wear it all the time as well, and again, hardly put a dent in it. I That's one thing I really love about Sugar Pills that, like I said, they're a little bit higher priced, but for the amount of product that you get, it's an amazing value. The next Sugar Pill favorite is actually a recent favorite and it is from their Feline Fancy collection and it is the shade Kiss Kiss. Now I have been using this eyeshadow a lot lately, well I've actually been using this entire palette lately, but when it comes to doing, you know, irritated eye looks or vampiric looks or anything like that, Kiss Kiss is a really beautiful shade. Now I have been getting asked as well um, how it compares to Kat Von D's Swoon, which I will show later on, but nonetheless they're both beautiful eyeshadows. And then the last sugar pill favorite that I have is their loose eyeshadow in the shade Asylum. This one is a very coppery, sort of rustic red shade. It is very, very beautiful. And the really cool thing about loose eyeshadows as well is that you can mix it with a mixing medium and turn it to a liner and whatnot. When it comes to blood, you know, the actual color of blood, blood has that sort of 
orangey yellowish tinge to it especially from the plasma and whatnot and I find that whenever you blend this out with other reds um, it helps to give it that sort of effect and the next two eyeshadow favorites are from Kat Von D and this first one right here um, I am so obsessed with this color and I hate the fact that it's limited edition I really really do honestly ever since I first played around with it I've been basically begging Kat Von D to make it into a single eyeshadow and make it permanent but it is from the Serpentina palette and it is the shade Blood Milk. That one right there it is freaking gorgeous. I I am so obsessed with that eyeshadow. I honestly for how much I've been using it I'm surprised that I haven't put a dent in it yet. But honestly I am dreading that day because I do not want to be living without that eyeshadow. It is I don't know what it is about that color, but for me, it's one of the most unique reds I've ever had. Um, whenever I do like my very irritated eyes, sleepy eyes, bruises, or anything like that, that color is perfect for it. it to me, it looks as weird as it's going to sound. It looks like a very natural based red. Like it looks like something you, that you would actually see on a wound or on your body. Um, so that's why I really love this eyeshadow. Oh. You I don't want to live without it. And then the next favorite is from the Better Together palette that she did with Too Faced. And it is the shade Swoon. That was the one that I mentioned earlier with um, Kiss Kiss from Sugar Pill. And it is this red right there. But I've also been really obsessed with this color recently too. And I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now. And um, stay tuned for the tutorial for this look later on. And again, it's in a limited edition thing. So it's going to really suck whenever I run out of it. Now like I mentioned earlier, people were um, asking me if there were any similarities. So... That's what they look like, sort of next to each other. And the last eyeshadow favorite comes from Lime Crime, and it is in their Venus palette. Now this is an eyeshadow that whenever I first got this palette, I wore it all the freaking time. This particular shade was perfect for, you know, that very heroin chic look, the very grungy, irritated, sleepy eye look, but it is the shade Muse. Now I find that it is a deeper sort of brick shade, so if I want to add some shadowing or whatnot to a red look, that eyeshadow is really perfect for it. Now this first liner favorite right here is actually another one of those products that's been a staple of mine for many years, and it is the Inglot Gel Liner in the shade number 79. I absolutely love this freaking gel liner and I actually really love the Inglot gel liners period I find that they last very very well and they come in a wide range of colors as well but the red it is beautiful I freaking love this color I really like to use this product on my waterline uh, specifically if I want something that's a little more longer lasting than a pencil um, I also like to use it if I'm going to be drawing around you know little blood drops or red designs around my eyes. I absolutely love this. This is a huge staple in my collection. My next favorite liner is from OCC and it's just one of their regular pencil liners. I use this in a lot of my tutorials, especially on my waterline, but it is the shade Not Safe for Work. Now the one thing I do want to quickly address, um, because I have been getting asked about it um, a lot lately, is that um, it does say on their website that um, you're not really supposed to use this on the eye area, um, especially on the waterline. Um, that's usually how it goes for all red products to be honest. Um, I don't know what it is about red eyeshadows or red liners or whatever, but they're not exactly eye recommended, but for me, I have never experienced any amount of irritation. I've never experienced any allergic reactions or anything like that to any red products, so I'm perfectly okay with putting red stuff around my eyes, but for anybody else, if you are not sure if it's going to be okay for you, you know, just be cautious and use things at your own discretion, you know, get to know your body before you go all crazy like I do. And the last liner of products are from NYX Cosmetics. And the first one that I have here is a liquid liner. This is part of their Vivid Brights line and this is the shade Vivid Fire. Now this one would be cool if you were wanting to do, you know, basic red cat eyeliner or if you were wanting to draw some details around the eyes with red liner. And the cool thing about it too is that it is inexpensive so you know, if you are on a budget or anything like that, I think this would be really good. Now the one thing I would say is um, I have used the green one of this line and I don't know what it is about the NYX liners, but they do tend to crack a little bit, especially if you put a really, really thick, you know, amount of product on. So I would say if you're going to use this particular liner, um, definitely use it in light layers. And the last one is actually a recent obsession because it is a newer product, but it is part of their faux black line. 
and it is the shade Oxblood. Now this is just a regular pencil liner, but this color is amazing. I have been looking for a liner in this particular color for a long, long time. I mean, I personally am really obsessed with anything that's Oxblood colored, you know what I mean? And this liner embodies that color absolutely perfectly. I love, love using this as an eyeshadow base. Um, if I was going to do, you know, any red looks or any irritated eye looks, I love using this as a base. And I do also like using it on the waterline as well. Now for this category, I'm mainly talking about, you know, liquid lipsticks that I like to use around my eyes, you know, glosses and things of that nature. So the first few products that I have are from the brand Rutu de Fee. Now the one thing that I use for them um, is actually a multi-purpose product. Um, it's technically not meant for the eyes, but you can use it around the eyes and you can also use it on the lips as well. But it's actually their cream blush in the shade Envious. I absolutely adore this freaking cream blush. Um, I've actually never used it on my cheeks, I don't think. I think I may have used it once before in a makeup tutorial, but besides that, I've honestly never really put it on my cheeks. But I absolutely love using this as an eyeshadow base for my red looks. The next one is one of their Enchanted Lip Shears, and this is basically like a tinted lipstick basically so it's not super pigmented but it still gives your lips a you know nice tint now what I really like about this particular lipstick is um like I mentioned earlier you know the actual color of blood has that orangey goldish tinge to it because of the plasma and whatnot and also because of the iron and whatever um, and the great thing about this one is that um, it looks red in the tube but actually whenever you swatch it it actually has that perfect plasma ironish color to it it's very orangey, very goldy, very yellowish, and I really like to use it as a base if I want to do a very blood-themed look. And the last one from this brand is their lipstick in the shade Ridden in Blood. I mean, it's called Ridden in Blood, so this one is absolutely perfect for doing red eye looks, and it's a really, really beautiful red, even on the lips too. I honestly, I think this is actually my favorite lipstick from that brand. The next favorites that I have are from Kat Von D, and it is three of her liquid lipsticks, and it is the shades Outlaw, um, Nosferatu and Damned. Now the cool thing about liquid lipsticks is that um, even though they go on like a liquid, they do dry down to a matte finish. So these are absolutely perfect for, you know, doing eyeshadow bases or if you want to do designs around your eyes. I've done plenty of tutorials using her liquid lipsticks, you know, around my eyes. I, again, you know, it's one of those things where they're not exactly meant to be on the eye area, but they don't cause me any irritation and I I really love to utilize, you know, liquid lipsticks as eyeshadows and liners and whatnot, so I just do it anyway, <laughs> but that, that's just me. And the great thing about it too is that so many other brands have, you know, red liquid lipsticks that you can use as red eyeshadow bases, um, so you don't have to just use these. But I own a lot of red lip products, so I can't exactly go through all the ones that I have, otherwise this video would be super long. But um, these ones from Cap Von D are my absolute favorite ones to use. This next one is actually a recent favorite, and it's from Black Moon Cosmetics. This is actually a brand new lip shade that they just recently came out with, but it's the shade Mortis. Oh my god, this color is beautiful and I've actually been using it in my red inspired looks lately I think I actually have it on my eyes right now as well but it just works so perfectly for blood themed looks and anything like that this next one is from Tater Rounds Beauty and it is the shade Whistling Dixie um, I use this one a lot in my blood themed looks and actually in a lot of my iron pieces I mean you don't really know about them unless you follow me on Instagram but um, whenever I would do my anatomy themed or blood themed looks I would always use this one in one way or another, whether I would do blood drops with it or I would use it as a base for other eyeshadows. Really, really beautiful red. Now, even though these last two don't come from the same brand, I am grouping them together because these are the only glosses that I actually put around my eyes. But um, the first one I have is by Milani and it is their shade Red My Lips. But I absolutely love adding this if I wanted to add a very fresh shiny blood look to my eyes and this last gloss that I have is from Tater Rounds Beauty and is in their shade Devil's Kiss um this is also a recent favorite um and I actually have it on my eyes right now but it is a beautiful glittery sparkly red and I really like it for not only giving it that you know shiny blood look but it also kind of gives it a glamorous blood feel because it does have that glitter in it it is beautiful
Alright guys, that is it for my favorite red products to use around my eyes. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I do have plenty of other red liquid lipsticks and whatnot that I like to put around my eyes, but um, I have way too many of those, you know, to include in one particular video. You know, whenever I do my red lipstick collection video, you'll see them there. Now what's surprising to me is that I don't actually own as many red eyeshadows as I would like. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of red eyeshadows out there that I have yet to discover. Um, so if any of you, you know, have any red eyeshadows or anything like that that you would recommend for doing sickly eye looks, you know, irritated stuff, bloody theme looks, or anything like that, please, you know, leave them in the comments below. I would love to really expand my red eye product collection because I honestly don't have enough. <laughs> and personally, I want to say again, you know, don't be afraid of reds. Reds are absolutely beautiful, especially around the eyes. I think there's something very high fashion when it comes to red eye looks and I don't know, I just love blood themed stuff and I love anatomy themed stuff so I don't really mind if my eyes look red and irritated and I don't mind if I look like I got punched in the face. I, I'm all about that. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it for me guys. I really do thank you all for joining me today and watching my video. And until next time, stay spooky and I'll see you guys later. Bye!